Okay, hey pals and other people on YouTube who find this. Um, I recently just got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And for my birthday I got a ton of different packs. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture in uh, the video to show how insane it was. Uh, but it was really fun opening some of them. And I got a couple booster boxes and I told some of my friends I would open them on camera because, you know, they have nostalgic cards that they would enjoy. Um, so I'm going to open this one first today the Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Pack came out about a year ago still got a first edition for a pretty good price there's only 36 cards in it they're all based on the original classic anime which is the one that I watched when I was a kid so pretty excited um, it has Ra's final form in it the immortal phoenix so uh, hopefully we can get all the cards there's not too many in this pack and yeah um, the only thing I just want to show out of the packs that I got that I'm not opening on here because I didn't want to wait um, and I wanted to open them on my birthday, I did manage to pull a Solemn Strike from a tin, so pretty happy about that. That's a really great trap. And I got a Pot of Desires, which is the most valuable card from the Dark Illusion. I was kind of hoping to get more Magician cards because I wanted to build a Magician deck, but hey, pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so um, I got this game board out of the Legendary Collection. I thought it was really cool. It has the Egyptian gods on it. Um, some of the classic monsters that you see in the show, including two of my favorites, Dark Magician and Magician of Black Chaos, or Dark Magician and Chaos, or whichever incarnation you want to call it. But let's get started on opening this. Probably should have gotten a knife. There we go. All right, nice and uh, like you'd find it in a store. Never opened a booster box before, so this is actually pretty exciting. Um, never gotten to just go 36 packs in a row. Alright, so, first pack. Okay, a widespread ruin. Don't really remember that one from the show. Left Arm Offering. Black Illusion Ritual, classic Pegasus card to Ritual Summon Relinquish. Ooh, Dark Master Zork. There's Bakura's. Uh, I'm pretty sure he used that at the end. I didn't really finish it, but that sounds familiar. And I know he plays that in the manga in the... Uh, D&D type game they play. And Karibo. Oh, the really cool thing about this pack is they have variant arts. So, um, this isn't the same Karibo art that was used in the Metal Raiders card, or the one like in the show. So, it has a different art style, so that's what makes some of these cards really neat. Okay, so that's one pack. I think the ultra rares in this pack are Carded Demise, uh, Ra, uh, Mortal Phoenix, and there's two others, so hopefully we can grab both of, uh, all four of those. Flame Swordsman, that is a really nice variant art. Um, Joey's favorite card in the Duel with Bakura in uh, Duelist Kingdom. That's a really nice variant. I don't know why these cards all have like a line through the middle of them though. Veerdez. I think that was a Merit card maybe? Metal Morph. Alright. That was good. That uh, helped turn Red Eyes into Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Five-Headed Dragon. I didn't know they actually ever made a, a card out of this. This was the that virtual reality game that the Big Five tried to lock Kaiba into, and they made a weird five-headed dragon. And uh, apparently you just need five dragon-type monsters to make this, so you don't need the actual heads that they had shown in the anime, but that's still pretty cool. And another Dark Master Zork. Ooh, I actually saw what that was. That's good. All right. Oh, I thought it was ultra rare. <laughs> An Acid Trap Hole. Target one face down defense monster in the field, flip it up, then destroy it if its defense is 2,000 or less. I used to have this card when it was from a, uh, 
it was from one of the video games, I think Dark Duel Sagas. I have it, it's in terrible condition. But uh, this is actually a different artwork too. It's actually a lot cooler than the other one. The other one was a little more graphic, but I don't know. I like the emphasis on the character. Another visor does. A launcher spider. There's a bandit Keith. Relinquished. Oh boy. I love Pegasus cards. I thought the Pegasus duel was like, I mean, it's kind of BS, like half the rules in that arc, but uh, Pegasus's deck is really neat. I enjoy it a lot. And Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord. This is the one where you have to get the Exodia pieces in your graveyard after you summon this to the field in order to win, instead of just summoning them all to the field as monster cards. So that's pretty cool. Put these here. Off to the side. Alright, so let's see. All right, Celtic Guardian. I really, really enjoy this uh, alternate art. I think it's a little blurry on the camera. But yeah, that's really good. I like that. Another Exodius, a Tiger Axe. It's funny to think of four star monsters back in the day, only having 1300 attack and no effect. Visor Deaths and a Summoned Skull. Look at that art really cool. I like that. That's actually cooler than the original card, I think. This card is always treated as an Archfiend. Oh yeah, that's right. They count that as an Archfiend archetype. Yeah, I'm really meticulous on how I open my packs. I can't, like, rip the front. I always save some for display. Okay, another Acid Trap pull. Ooh, our first Ultra Rare. Curse of Dragon Fire. Dragon Effect. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one field spell card on the field, destroy it. Once per turn, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion materials, including this card. Obviously, Yugi card at one point. <clears throat> card Crush Virus. Uh, this was the famous uh, Kaiba card that if your monster has less than a thousand attack or less, then your opponent takes no damage, and uh, you destroy every monster in their deck with 1,500 more or attack, I believe. Well, at least that's what it was in the anime. Um, I remember he used it in the fight with Yugi on top of Pegasus's castle. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I never saw this card printed. I know it was after I stopped playing, but pretty cool to have it. Contract with a Dark Master. This is the ritual summoning card for Dark Master's Orc. Good stuff. Okay. Another Flame Swordsman. I still really like that variant art. I think it's even cooler than the uh, Legend of Blue Eyes Hollow I have. Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon. Another. Maybe we'll get all Joey cards in this one. Uh, that was really cool. I think that's the same artwork. I haven't seen it in a while, but I don't think that's changed. Dark Master Zork. Scapegoat. I love Scapegoat. Definitely another Joey card. Um, I always played Scapegoat. It was just so awesome. Because you special summon four sheep tokens, zero attack, zero defense. Uh, you can't tribute them, um, but you can, you know, have these as the uh, as something your opponent has to attack to get to your life point. So it's just four free hits that you can... Uh, with, oh, you know, avoiding piercing damage. So they pulled the Gemini Elf on you. You couldn't really get something out yet. Unfortunately, you couldn't tribute them because that'd be a little OP. Um, but yeah, you could guard. And a Black Skull Dragon. This really was a Joey pack. Huh. Fusion of Summon Skull and Red Eyes Black Dragon. Apparently this one's also treated as an Archfiend card now. Cool. You know what? I wanted to put that hollow in a separate pile. There we go. I was going to get sleeves. I totally blanked and forgot, but that's fine, because I'm going to just put them right in a binder um, right after this. Okay, so we have a Gaia the Fierce Knight with a variant artwork. That new art looks really nice. Uh, I really enjoy the kind of like paint, more painted feel. Um, less of an action pose than the other one had, but 
I really enjoy this like uh, stationary look for them. Another scapegoat, a spiral spear ritual that goes with our uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight card or Swift Gaia or Gaia the Dragon Champion you can actually use. Uh, let's see, you control, um, one of those cards you control attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. If Gaia the Dragon Champion inflicts battle damage with this card, draw two cards, then discard one. That's actually a pretty good card. La Jin with a new artwork. This was a Kaiba card. Back in the day, this was one of uh, two or three 1800 attacks that would just be a wall. You couldn't destroy them unless you sacrificed another 1800 or had a man eater bug or something to get it off the field. But yeah, that was the one of the only four stars with an 1800 until Gemini Elf came. And another contract with the Dark Master. I mean, I'm sure now there's tons of level fours with over 1900, but I've been out of the game since like 2005. I just got back into it, thanks to some of my friends. So thank you all for my bad spending habits. <laughs> all right, so we have a Panther Warrior. Pretty nice. Ooh, Card of Demise, our second ultra rare. We haven't got any super rares yet. All right, that's actually really cool. That is completely different. It used to be like a guy on the ground with three cards over him. Cool. I think... Uh, Either Kaiba used that card, or it was in the Yugi Kaiba tag team fight, maybe? It's been a while since I watched Battle City, so I don't remember. Shrink, target one face-up monster on the field. The original attack of that monster is halved until the end of the turn. Pendulum Machine, another variant artwork. Very nice. Well, a little different color scheme on it. Looks a lot more shinier. I really enjoy that. Another Crush card. Ooh. So we have another Celtic Guardian. I still really, really dig that artwork. I don't know why this isn't focusing properly. Oh, you know why? No, I'll fix it later. Uh, the true name. Okay, there's our secret rare. Nice. Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. I do not remember this card, but it's probably from that dragon arc that I didn't watch. Another variant Karibo and a Black Skull Dragon. Okay, Symbol of Friendship. That's right, they actually did make a card for this. Uh, in college, my friends and I drew this on our hands as a kind of like joke, but an homage to the show because we were really good friends. So that's always. Something a little personal, but, you know, it's one of the most famous moments in the show at the beginning. Ooh, a super rare. I'm going to put that to the side because I like that card. Uh, holding Legs. I think this was used uh, probably in one, either the uh, Merrick fight or the Shizu fight. I can't remember, but it definitely looks like one of the cards they had used. A Red Eyes Black Dragon. Really weird to see that common. Um, kind of sad that didn't get an alternate artwork. Because it had some pretty neat other artworks for it. Uh, Gendora and a Metal Morph again to go with our red eyes. Okay. Come on. There we go. So we have a Panther Warrior. Another Lajin. Metal Morph. Another Relinquished, and another Spiral Spear Strike. I think Toon World's in this pack. Totally want to grab one of those. I love Toons. They're so cool. Still hoping for that raw. Alright, so another Widespread Ruin. That Summon Skull variant art. Red Eyes. Guilford the Lightning. Warrior Effect. You can tribute three monsters... To tribute summon, but not set, this card. If summoned this way, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, that's actually, that's not bad. I mean, if you can get three monsters out and keep them there for three turns to tribute summon that, uh, that's pretty cool. Looks like a Joey card, but I'm assuming it was his. Kind of sad that I don't remember that. Because that was actually a cool looking card. Okay, nice. A Thousand Dragon with variant artwork. I actually just pulled one of these 
last night out of a Metal Raiders, which is kind of neat because the one I had went through the washing machine. Um, yeah, so classic fusion between Time Wizard and Baby Dragon. Although I remember in the first arc it had some really strange rules about using Time Wizard's effect to move physical time on the field. That was always fun. Uh, Red Eyes Black Metal. Visor Des. Toon World, there it is. And that is not that is the Japanese artwork, I think. Uh, the one in America, or at least the one that I had and in the show, is definitely a different uh, picture. I like them both, but uh, I like the American one a little more. And then Lajin. Looks like we're almost halfway down. I might go a little faster. Kunai with Chain, another Joey attack. I used it a lot with Rude Kaiser. Five Headed Dragon, Gandora. Ooh, a Dark Paladin. I always wanted one of these in Metal. Uh, I'm sorry, Metal Raiders. Magician's Force. He's awesome. Contr uh, gets extra attack points for each dragon type monster on the field or in the other player's graveyard. So that's how Yugi was able to overcome Kaiba's blue eyes. That was awesome. And another contract with the Dark Master. Oh, I think I saw what that was. Uh, another Thousand Dragon, another Dark Paladin, another Shrink, Vorse Raider, and a Black Illusion Ritual. Man, I have a lot of these uh, doubles. That's okay. I think they're all really cool cards. Very nostalgic. XYZ Dragon Cannon, classic Kaiba card. Also used in uh, GX by Jun, or um, Chaz, I think his name is in the English. They have weird names. Five-headed, red-eyes black metal dragon, black skull dragon, and tomb world. I don't think they have any tomb monsters in this set. That'd be nice if they did. Widespread ruin, scapegoat, tiger axe, Guilford the lightning, and shrink. All right, a guy of the fierce knight, variant art, still nice. Ooh, a hollow trap hole of spikes. When an opponent's monster was, that was normal or special summon, this turn declares an attack. Destroy that attacking monster, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that monster. Nice. That is a nice card. Ring of destruction. And uh, I remember, I think it used to have like grenades on it or something, and then they. Uh, edited it, or maybe it was the other way around. Uh, Launcher Spider and Nightmare Wheel. Classic. Alright, let's hope for Raw on this one. I'd really like to get that one out of the way. Alright, another XYZ Dragon Cannon. Another card of Demise. I really like this variant artwork. That is really cool looking. It's a completely different concept, but it's awesome. At least from what I remember. Pendulum Machine, and a Crush Card Virus. It's almost a Kaiba pack there. Okay, Panther Warrior, Launcher Spider, Ring of Destruction, uh, Guilford the Lightning, and a Vorse Raider. Okay, another Thousand Dragon, Launcher Spider, Relinquished, Exodius, and Black Illusion Ritual. Alright, another Gaia. Nice variant artwork still. Pendulum Machine, Karibo, Dark Paladin, Black Illusion Ritual. Okay. Come on, Ra. Come on, Ra. It looks really cool. I saw it before. Uh, Symbol of Friendship again. Vorse Raider, Black Illusion, Gandora, and that Karibo. I really do like that variant artwork of Karibo. It just looks like classic comic. Like somebody's like really into comics and stuff. It's a really nice uh, difference than that kind of like touched up, colorized, you know, not flat colors one. Acid, Trap Hole, Red Eyes, Shrink, Toon World, and another Karibo. I got like six play sets of Karibo by now. Alright. 
Celtic Guardian. Ooh, Left Arm Offering, another one of those. Pendulum Machine, Crush Card Virus, and Visor Death. All right, we're actually almost done here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, comparatively, we're almost done. I might have to, I think my memory card's almost full, I should have emptied it, so I might have to stop, upload this, and then do the rest. Celtic Guardian, Launcher Spider, Exodius, Toon World, and Crush Card Virus, Yugi. Oh boy, good times. There's always a weird duel to me. He's gonna, the vibrations of a hologram are gonna shove him off a cliff. Kunai with Chain. Uh, holding arms to go with our holding legs. Nice, hollow. So shiny. Very nice art. I like those. I like the, any of the ones with the Millennium symbol on them. Those are cool cards. Black Skull, Force Raider, and that Summon Skull. Alright. Can we get the raw here? Alright. Symbol of Friendship. Force Raider, Metal Morph, Nightmare Wheel, Contract with a Dock Master. All right. Let's see, what do we got? Thousand Dragon. A Rebellion! Okay, that's uh, one of the ultra rares we don't have, so we're only missing one now. Um, I really like the art on that. Very ancient Egypt. I'm assuming this was in the last arc that I didn't see. Um, but yeah, during each player's battle phase, or either player's battle phase, target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end of the battle phase. Also, other monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can activate one rebellion per turn. Relinquish. So it's kind of like a change of heart, but you don't get to keep the monster for the whole turn. Okay. XYZ Dragon Cannon, Spiral Spear Strike, Lajin, Gandora, and a Five Headed Dragon again. Let's see. Six left. Let's, uh, let's stick them here. I actually have a little bonus opening at the end of this video I should have mentioned. Something I found that was pretty cool. Uh, Kunai with Chain, Red Eyes, Guilford, Scapegoat, and Shrink. That's almost a Joey pack. That is a huge stack of cards. I didn't realize there were that many in this box. Alright, so it looks like we have another Acid Trap hole. Uh, Red Eyes Black Metal, Guilford, Summon Skull, and Pendulum Machine. I think the only Ultra Rare I'm missing is that Raw card. So hopefully I can get it in the next four packs. Alright. Widespread Ruin, Ugh, Red Eyes, Black Metal. Still looks good. Black Skull, Toon World, and Summon Skull. Almost got, got all the ingredients to make the Black Skull in that one. Another Flame Swordsman. Ooh. Sky Galloping Gaia the Dragon Champion. One Gaia the Fierce Knight and one Monster uh, Dragon type. So that's one of the hollows we didn't get. Really nice. Looks like Curse of Dragonfire he's riding. Black Illusion Ritual, Red Eyes, and Ring of Destruction. Okay. Come on, two more chances to get that raw. Okay. Had to uh, switch over to a new scene because it only lets me record a certain amount of time. So Panther Warrior, Spiral... Spear Strike, Relinquish, Tiger Axe, and Five-Headed Dragon. This is our last pack. This is where we want to get the raw, right at the end. Immortal Phoenix. Let's get it. Final form. All right, XYZ Dragon Cannon. And yes, the Wing Dragon of Ra, Immortal Phoenix. That is some cool art. Really glad we got that. Right in the last pack, too, of course. Uh, that's the perfect time to get it, right? Right at the end. Okay, Divine Beast effect. Cannot be normal summoned. Must be special summoned by its own effect. 
and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If the Winged Dragon of Ra is sent from the field to your graveyard while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to these, well, this effect's activation. The card is unaffected by other cards' effects. You can pay 1,000 life points, send one monster on the field to the graveyard. Once per turn, during the end phase, send this card to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one Winged Dragon of Ra Sphere Mode from your hand, deck, or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. So we got it. I think we're missing one hollow. We're missing a super rare. Uh, I think it's the true name, but that's fine. You know what? We got every other card in the set, so I can't complain, especially this guy. Tigrax, Dark Paladin, and Shrink. So, really happy that we grabbed that at the end. So, that's that. Let me grab <laughs> the silly thing I found. It was like 99 cents, but they're really old. These Yu-Gi-Oh! stickers from Topps. Uh, I don't think I ever had any of these back in the day, but the card shop near me had, like, a bunch of them. Well, like, seven of them or something. So I bought a couple because it seemed like they were just trying to get rid of them because they were a dollar each. There's 53 stickers in the set. 10 silver, and also 10 gold foils. So I would love to get any sort of Dark Magician, Blue Eyes. They're all going to be classic monsters, so I think it'll be cool either way. And I thought I'd wait to open this pack on camera for you guys, because I thought it'd be kind of fun. Okay, my Valentine. Remember my uh, Celtic Guardian. Okay, we got a lot of him today, so might as well get some more. A Rude Kaiser. Joey card, Horn Imp, Thousand Dragon, also got quite a few of him lately. Alright, and for our Silver Foil, we got an Exodia the Forbidden One. Nice, I'm going to stick that right on my binder. Alright, what's our gold? Dark Magician! Perfect! This is amazing. I love Dark Magician, he's my favorite card. What a great way to end this. Alright, so those are also those stickers. Um... If you want to see the hollows one more time, that we got Winged Dragon of Ra, Mortal Phoenix form, Sky Galloping Gaia, Rebellion, Holding Arms, Left Arm Offering, Card of Demise, Trap Hole of Spikes, Holding Legs, the true name. Oh, we did get that, so we got all the cards in the set. Card of Demise and Curse of Dragonfire. That is awesome. It's exactly, it's just perfect. Couldn't ask for anything more. I'm going to do another box. Uh, my friends know who it is. If anybody's interested in watching, I guess it'll be a surprise. But it is a classic box, so I'm pretty excited to open that. And yeah, I'll do that maybe next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.